Hello, so we are back, and this time we have a job. This uh, laptop come from uh, from a local repair shop. Uh, no display. Okay, so what this is doing? It does uh, have the orange light here, and if I press the power button, it is coming on. You can see. Look, you can see it's on, but it's no picture on screen. So what can be the problem on this case? I mean, the laptop is not shutting down, it's just staying on, I can hear the fan, but it's no picture on the screen. Now, there are many things what uh, can cause something like that. But the most common one for this uh, kind of specific fault, you can have like a frozen BIOS. So let's first open the, the laptop, try and reset the BIOS, okay? Then uh, check the RAM memory, then I believe the next step is to try to reload the BIOS. And on the HP laptop, it's very easy. We can do it by the USB stick. Yeah? So let me open the laptop. Okay, so we open the laptop. Now, in order to reset the BIOS, first you, have the, you must have a look for a BIOS battery. And we cannot see any BIOS battery. So in that case, just unplug the charger and let's disconnect the battery, okay? Because this is an internal battery. Um, it will have the same uh, role like a BIOS battery. Eh? It will hold uh, the memory on your EC chip, the startup chip, which is here. Okay. Now let's disconnect the battery. Now let's reconnect back the battery and let's see if it's working. So we reset the BIOS. Actually, it's, we reset the EC chip, which is a startup chip. Yeah, this chip is starting the laptop. Now let's power on. And the laptop it is coming on. Now let's see if we have any picture. It will take a while because we just reset the BIOS. Having in mind this computer uh, is coming from a computer repair shop. Um, I believe they try already to reset the BIOS. Yeah, so we still have no picture on the screen. Okay, let's power off the laptop. Let's try and remove one RAM memory. And let's swap this RAM memory here. And let's see what it's doing. Power on. Meanwhile, we have the multimeter on screen. Let's check some voltages, like the RAM voltage. RAM voltage. There's no picture here. Yeah, there's no. And the RAM has 2.5 volts, you can see, which is right. Okay. The CPU is warm, so probably it's fine. Everything looks fine here. I don't know what to check. I mean, you know, if you have a warm CPU, that means the voltage is fine. Yeah, all good. Okay, so we still have no picture. Now the next step is to try download the BIOS and from the HP of cell and try to reload the BIOS. Yeah. Okay, so our USB is ready. Finish. Now let's try to reload the BIOS here. Windows key, keep press the Windows key, press the power button and the laptop it is coming on. Good, now let's try the B key. Yeah? Keep press the B key, power. Let's try the V key. Let's try Windows and V. Okay, let's change the USB place. Let's connect the USB here. Windows B. So we try everything and it's not, uh, it's not booting from the USB, sadly. So uh, what do we have to do now? It's pretty straightforward. We have to take the programmer 
and uh, reload the the BIOS. Okay, so we have the BIOS chip here. Let's try and do it. Okay, so the program is connected to the exactly to the BIOS chip. Uh, it's a good practice to read first your uh, your BIOS chip and save it. Yeah, maybe it's not a BIOS issue. Yeah, that's what you have to do first. Save your BIOS. Okay, let's try and write this one. And now it's uh, erasing, programming, and checking the BIOS chip. Okay, so now it's verifying the chip if it's uh, righted properly. And uh, I believe we are ready to test. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's quickly disconnect the battery. That's fine. Let's plug the charger. And let's see what it's doing. It's fixed or not. Okay, let's try another BIOS. Okay, so it's finished verifying. Good, now let's test. Let's see if this one is working. Disconnecting the battery and the charger. Sorry, I forgot the charger. Plug the battery back, plug the charger back. Let's see. Pressing the power button. Okay, if it's not working, I will write back the original BIOS. And uh, we should gonna move to the next step to check the board. I was really thinking it's a BIOS issue. Okay, let me write back the original BIOS. Okay, so finally I figured it out. I mean, I feel so bad, you know. So basically what is happening, you're pressing the, the power button. Yeah, you can see the, the light on the button there. But it's no picture, that's the issue, yeah? <laughs> okay. Let me disconnect. Let me change the RAM memory. We remember what I did on the beginning. So this was on this slot, yeah? And this was here. So I took this out, yeah? just to took out like 50% of the chances to be a RAM memory issue, yeah? So I plug the and I plug the memory here. Now I did reload the original BIOS back and I said, you know what? Let me try with the other memory. Let me try with the other memory. Plugging the battery back, pressing the power button. I can't believe, I can't believe. I can't believe. And I try, I try this memory and trying the both slots is not working. So basically it was a RAM memory issue. But because I'm dodgy and sloppy and I take how many shortcuts are possible. Even impossible shortcuts, I will take them all. <laughs> I didn't check with the with the you know the truth is I don't have a, a DDR4 for spares. But I could like swap it both and uh, figure it out if it's a RAM issue or not. The problem was uh, I choose one RAM memory and I choose exactly the faulty one. I mean, I could choose the other one, but no, I choose the faulty one. Restart. And everything is working fine. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I put so much work, <laughs> I mean, I'm working like for like over one hour on this laptop, when it was so easy just to, you know, try first with a different RAM memory. That's crazy. <laughs> anyway, just learn from my mistakes, yeah? Just save some time and learn from my mistakes. And we have no picture here, yeah, we have. Oh, it's Windows 11, okay. Okay, so the laptop is working fine. The issue was... Uh, this uh, RAM uh, memory. I will stop now. I will say here, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.